In case you're worried, I've, I've got to warn you, it's too late to run, and it's too late to hide. We're going to be playing The Beginner's Guide. I didn't plan that, I apologize for that agonizing rhyme. But uh, anyway, someone at Destructoid published, published an article warning that if you play this game, you might want a refund. Not because it's short, not because it's bad, but because you might believe that the story is true and worry that this game is stolen, or assets are stolen. So we're going to test that. We're going to see how it goes. And we're going to see how this works. Hopefully nothing will go wrong this stream. Sometimes it does. Oh shit. I started to talk before the stream started. I need to learn... I need to finally learn that there's like a lag. Anyway, I'm going to do my best not to clash with the narrator. I've turned on the subtitles, so hopefully you'll be able to read it. And if I talk, it won't clash too much at the same time, if that makes sense. <laughs> Subs be nubs, I'm sorry I scared you. Redo the rhyme. No, you missed it. I can't just I can't just pull that out again. Sorry. Power is incredible. Oh shit. Someone naming themselves Sargon has said there's a fat man in a pastry shop with a twenty dollar bill and he's ready to buy. In order to predict his volume change, you will need to know the value of pi. There you go. That can be your your rhyme. Thank you very much. Let's go anyway. Let's just go for it. But does it have cat girls? No, I'm sorry to say this does not have cat girls. Please make sure the audio is on. Fucking patronizing already. I was told this would not have traditional mechanics whatsoever. And yet we've got WASD. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. Not My thank you for Steve. buying it though. I wrote the Stanley Parable, and while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to yep, tell you I know. a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. 2011 was when the Stanley Parable was first made as a mod. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 and, uh, at a time when tell I me if there's any problem with the sound, by the way. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative Stanley Parable is also a real made. story, says Maraxia. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. Right, you can okay. You here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. The, the immediate... Like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town... He then right, it's a sound quiet. Alright. I'll do what I can. I'll, I'll fiddle this up, up a bit so you can hear the game a bit more. Tell me if... Uh, I don't want to crank it all the way up. Alright. kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. I find that when I'm playing something on a computer, I I just automatically presume it was made by a real person. It's always in my mind. Not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to Is this a commentary from Valve? No. I want us to see past the games themselves. Immediately. My thought is that Coda is Davy. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Especially since I know that it's the Stanley game. Parable was originally Coda a mod. Making these games, and he never now he showed me this. Any. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them. Is anyone else not getting sounds as absolution right. dreams? And I think he really understood this image Hopefully, of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point he jokingly Coda is Gaben. computer's recycling bin to important games. Oh god. So, you know, this was just how he worked. We he found tended the to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he yeah, just Yeah, Pink Atomic Flame. Until my, suddenly uh, one day, he just stopped. My internet connection isn't fantastic. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. Okay, this is fuck this is Coda is Davy. In 2011, the, um, I find his games you know, the Stanley Parable, the mod came out, and I'd like which isn't a game, him, right? Encourage him to start That's gotta again. be it. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, yeah. then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. Good. Uh, so thanks for joining me on this. If you have a surely I am just playing a video. I haven't mentioned here, or if you exactly. just need to get in touch, you can email me. It's actually a dot well, w, 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 file that I'm just running. At gmail.com. 
Okay, that's about it. Harmful to your music, guys, is Metal Me Maniac. First proper game. Exactly. As each I do know loaded, what a coda I'll is. A coda is like an ending this passage. First one was made in November Normally you see DSL coda. You go back to the S sign. And then you go on into the coda and then you hop to the ending. Right, so coda is probably the end of that phase in his life, right? Okay. Fucking Christ. By the way, the volume is very loud in my ears. This game is called Whisper Machine. And it's one of the Status. More active. Evacuate immediately. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh shit. We cannot reload. Zero out of ten, no reload. How am I supposed to get emotional if I can't even reload? Once my tear ducts are empty. So do you guys think this is real yet? It doesn't even sound like a gun. For fuck's sake. Do you feel like your life is in danger? Do you feel like you want a refund yet? Security call breach. Hostile alien life force inbound. Oh god. Possible alien life forms. It kind of looks like this but guys, abandoned mid development. What if we For are the instance, alien? You have this gun which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere, but then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. Oh my god. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. But ultimately we I don't noticed. really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. Well then Coda is a fucking moron with shit taste. Are, oh, right. Rather than for what they're not. Enemy this is the most real game ever, says Skulk. Oh, I see the door opened. When well, there's like a glitchy bit in the wall? Right. Carry on then. I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room, right. Carry on then. And then exit. There is an actual puzzle in this, so it's not totally not a game, says Unassumption. Am I gonna face it soon? Is it going to be the intense? Space station has a labyrinth on it. I uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern. Right. So in the interest of the realism time, is mind fucking me, that. says Bootlog. The fuck don't skip me through shit. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. Finally. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay. Hey, you there? It's like I'm playing Portal. That beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. Hey, Schnobel, how's it going? It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Is the narrative drawing you in yet? Oh no, they're going to take away my Portal gun now. Let me pause here for a oh, second. Oh, it was a trap. What you just experienced, what a twist. The beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. Right, then Coda's an asshole. When he compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Right. Wait, so is he saying that the... Wait, wait, wait. Didn't he just say that it was intended to happen? And that happened instead. Right, okay, let's go back in. Right, yo. It's like we've just beaten... It's like we've just beaten Mom's heart, and now the we're going up to the cathedral. To start floating. And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies the something human about it. There's like this, like, really weird dude on YouTube this larger chaotic called Ale Lilia. He's really into Bubsy, could be the and he likes just peaceful place, flying around against all as the cat is zipping up into the air. What if Coda I, I know. Uh, is uh, no Ale Lilia? That guy who pats his pizzas this, with kitchen towels to get rid of the grease. Brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of <laughs> tiny little games that go in all I think sorts this of is going to be the this Let's is the origin story. The this is how the first WarriorWare game was made. Just tons of tiny tiny little experiences. All right. Oh shit, we can't move. No, we Yep. In this game you right, can okay. only walk backwards. The past. 
was behind her. Right. This is going to be the story of how he sues Nintendo for stealing his minigame setup. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment Whoa. combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous You can tell game, that code is him be because of how he's talking about these shitty complete. little bitch code games. Trying to give it a unique voice rather than right? If it wasn't him, he wouldn't be speaking so nicely about them. You ready? Okay, let's go through the hole, backwards. It's like I'm looking at the sun. It becomes clearer when she stops and looks. Oh. Fucking. Okay, look, don't blame me. I'm trying to read chat at the same time. If that's how you park your car, you are fucked, Yesukomi. But the future is always behind her. How will she find the strength to overcome this summer's greatest blockbuster? It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. He could have just made a YouTube video. Why it works, because it gets out quick. Don't okay, read and drive. Fire 795. That's actually a really good piece of advice. Don't read and drive. Now we're in the dark. There's a cool game this reminds me of called, um, oh shit, something like The Swan. You are now entering. What are we entering? Chat. I want you to guess what we're entering. Okay. Are you prepared? Anyway, the game it reminds me of is called something like The Swan, where you throw these goo balls and it makes platforms appear. This is Slenderman. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more Chat, games we've been and I diddled. you'll see what makes it interesting. We were not approaching anything. Oftentimes, Koda would put that's bizarre right. titles like this one at the start of his Nonsense games. in every direction, especially if you walk backwards. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Oh my it. god, this Once is the first the stolen game. game. Like, that was it. It was dead to him. He stole and I don't agree from whoever all, made it. The early do? alpha of Mirror's Edge. I can't believe it. She was right. Oh, Hannah just said Mirror's Edge. You had the same thought as me. Well done. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why... If code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game special. so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Okay, let me then. And inside the door is what he desires, as he can never reach it in real life. So in the game, he cannot reach it either. Right. Do you think those are steel beams? Oh my god. It's like an augmented reality room. Except we're inside a game, so we don't a need a headset. It's warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. A stranger appears. That sounds more like a traumatic past life experience. Coda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes So he was a nice guy. Is he going to start complaining about not getting together. girls? Because they always go for the jerks, by any chance. Let me through. You run a shop inside your own body. That's called prostitution. Ready. Set. Fish. Ready. And yet another door. I think he's he's used too many doors for this to be art. It's too great a utility. Are you ready to go? Fuck Coda. Tell him you want your money back. There is no feels in this. Like Godzilla. I like that comment. And so we continue. Well, this is new for Coda. It's an it's actual, actual puzzle. puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. 
All right. Ah, what what a what a ruse. Would that be it by any chance? Or have I just locked myself? Oh, in a terrible corridor with no escape. Am oh, I meant to be fucked? Chat, help me. I don't want to get beaten by this game. Oh wait, there we go. Don't forget that solution because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're gonna see it. Three a lot. dots. Chat, what do you think the three dots mean? You can draw a triangle. Molestation room, says Felix D3. <laughs> Locked himself in a gas chamber. It was actually a safe space. No one could get us there. Did you hear any harmful opinions in there? I don't think so. See, we were absolutely fine. Triple glory hole. Hey, if you're into that, why would so you that want three? Be, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Simple right. enough indeed. Now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. You ready to break down the, the walls, chat? Let's see what we can do. Okay. It reminds me. Here's a cooler version of oh, the walls that. breaking down. Do you remember the be beginning of the Shivering knowing. Isles in the Elder Scrolls 4? Now that was really cool when it all became bunch of lights. So, uh, in the stairs <laughs> game, a dull exterior Mr. Humble Opinions, <laughs> tear down that wall. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. I wouldn't call this Either a fantastic way, outer world, though. Is is that most of the time you don't get to know what It looks like I was fucking around with no clip in Half Life. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? My role is to experience. Oh, we're here again. <laughs> uh -huh. so Microaggression, please. Combined with the entering game from earlier. Tells us that there will be none of that on this stream. Somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a right. bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in. Some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can I don't think there's a great and start larger meaning. I have a exactly feeling we're going to be underwhelmed. Is. So far. Loading March 2009. The Great and Lovely Descent. You know it's art because everything's white. Let's just turn around. Let's leave. I'm so angry now because all this white has done is exposed to me how dirty my monitor is. Fuck you, I'm leaving. Doesn't let you. Oh well. Ready to go. Coder is a dick for resource hogging, Let's all that rendered shit that won't be seen. This really is D3. Runs on what's called an engine, Makes sense. Which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. The Streetwise Fall. To make all of these games, Coder is that? using an engine called Source. Or would you not? Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. You have to go feel the feels in the well house. Stop being edgy. This is good art. You're right. I just can't. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms. Is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Right. Okay. I can't the experience the feels because I'm too much of an edge lord. I see. Work they're gonna end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's oh god, so this is how it's connected up. Linear boxy corridors. Here we go. We did it. There we are. Right. Do we have to walk all the way back up? I hope not. Let me in. There's the coin slot, anyway. If you put enough coins in, it becomes a good game. I didn't fuck up. Right. I have to be honest with you, I'm not really feeling anything. Oh shit, we're trapped. I feel like a cow now. 
We're going to be forced to drink milk until we burst. <laughs> I'm not. What you doing, Bruce? Good boy. Like, so I came into this with bias, but at the same time, I'm certainly not feeling this it. This prison, funny enough, in Coders not even design, feeling a slight itch on your scrotum. Now that you mention it, go. if you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so wow. we just had heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after Depends one of how you're defining game he mate. went home, and a day or two later... You can argue that games exist in nature. We've got zero player games. games. ...that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was... There's also the issue of, box, if you're too good at a game or if a game's too simple... Else. You can solve a game, and then you can't play it as a game anymore because you have the perfect, uh, most efficient strategy down. But it seems that they're calling just about anything that you can look at or interact with at all a game. Coda, right. Like solving tic-tac-toe. Yes, me am. Let's keep going around in a spiral. What do you think the spiral means, chat? <laughs> My fart is a game at this point, says Dumb Man X. You already envisioned Teal Deer, Coda doesn't understand games. Mega Freak. Someone should send it to him. Like... It's the puzzle again. Oh, and there's the that little slot again. As the last time. Good. Perhaps this was his favorite waste of time. There's still no clear indication of what makes and this the dots so again. special that Coda is going to mm. return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Okay, thank you. No, no, you can't criticize that as being lazy, lazy even by puzzle game standards. This is about meaning. Didn't you listen? It doesn't matter if there's a player or not. It doesn't matter if you can win it or if it's accessible or if you can play it. The levers obviously reveal some something of the true nature of reality to us. I just heard a gun being reloaded. Here, Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capability. There was a world stamped with the white privilege. On your keyboard to respond. Okay. I don't know if chat wants to answer this or not. Let's bounce around. Do you want to choose, or do you not want to choose? Three. Oh, we just got a cluster of ones. Let's go one. Yes. That's the world above. You've been there. Now this is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Spooky Goat says white power pick one, but we're already past that, of course. And now I'm going to have a stream of numbers, without even knowing if you're referring to this one. Three, two, two. It looks like three is winning. This is the... This is the privacy option. We're not going to give it to them. That's probably Google. What? But you don't understand. We're trapped here. That puzzle is our only escape. We need to get through it. Yes, Beans Omega. Option three was the buy me dinner first option. Okay. Which one do we want now? Should we tell them or not? Yeah, exactly one. You think you want to get through? 
But trust me, you don't. Oh no, but I do. We do. We need to get there. Do you understand? It is the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this. Oh well, never mind. Wow. Imagine, just think how inaccessible this would be if I was visually impaired, or if I was slow. Can't wake up. I want my uh, HEV suit. Is this mass erect? I don't know, but are you? Here we are. Oh my god. It repeats. Can you feel it? Says Trowex. Can you feel your film school degree appearing on your wall? This is honestly, this is like my third one. I have no, I have no console available to me. Two. No, I've been right here this entire time. I suggest you go and see the puzzle sometime. It's not meant to be solved, but you can sit in the black space in the middle. Maybe we should have just experienced the darkness. Then maybe someday we too could have pink hair. Hmm. What do we want to ask? Looks like we've got a bunch of ones and threes. I think one is winning overall. What happens if I solve it? Not sure, but if I have any suspicion, what you find won't be worth what it takes to get there. You'll something. Let me read it, you bastards. And now we're allowed out again. We continue our downward, downward spiral into and deeper so meaning. One last descent down to the final floor of the level. Do you think this represents Coda's depression as he panics? And then it becomes SCP Containment Breach. Here we are. I bet there's like a knife hooker in one of it's these motel rooms. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. Maybe he's it's part going moth. Here at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point. <laughs> You know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace. And you wouldn't think the narration makes the game worse. Something to hold on to. Do you mean me talking over it or the actual he narrator? Wants the work to be leading to something. Because I think I think the trick is the narration is the game, is. It's a and the game is the narration. We're gonna see it in the work as well. Those are just gonna right. become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. I don't agree that most of what we call games are games. In general. Most videos aren't. Most video games aren't just games. They include games, but they aren't. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. Dark Souls hype. All notes you see are left by other players. Allegedly. This reminds me of this Elvis seance game I bought. Nice room. Not. Wow. That's probably what I'd comment so first off, on I'm most sure of this game. This, but this game is not connected to the internet. How do you All beat this game? That you're gonna see have been written by Coda. This was no point to the this. Game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game Boy. jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him Whoa. working on this very level. Holy and it shit. Was just so different from anything that this anyone is else the, was um, So right away I was like, I have to be friends with This, this is the person. beginning of Dark Souls 2. In retrospect, I think I was probably Here a bit go. too pushy. Oh, it doesn't let me. His attention. Uh, I was over Can you pay me to have me play another but game? He was very gracious no. About it We're trying to find out if this is real. And I cooled off. Hello. Oh, that one Zoe Quinn oh, ruined. Feel free to skip over any of these notes Maybe if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Okay. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. 
I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered I'm and not, unheard voices. I'm not seeing it, mate. That wasn't meant to be played. I don't see it whatsoever, actually. Why is this ten dollars? Says Hannah it's ironic, KK. Isn't it? That in playing because this game people will spend ten dollars on it. Coda often felt that we get to know him better and actually kind so of. So how do you leave a note? You can't. I have to be honest with uh, you. The this idea is really Coda left all the notes. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. Yeah, but I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked uh, those games so much. Is because it felt like they let me have that connection. Did I, I pay for this? Yes, I did. Me personally Hyper I, look, mate. And you're talking about the hypodermic needle model of communications. Doesn't doesn't work like that, friend. Unless you very explicitly write things, it's not going to work like that. I don't want to read any of this shit. All right, guys. It is a game. We've got to avoid all the blue dots. Too fucking bad. I don't care if the authorial intent was for it to not be a game and to not have a goal or whatever. It is now. And we're going to get a refund. I bought this in October. I can't do shit about a refund. But at the same time, if I'm going to talk about it, I'd like to have spent the money on it. So I can talk about it having spent the money, if that makes sense. Lacking a run button, indeed. But aren't you glad he's making us experience this? Not really shit. There we go. I'm sure that means something, or stands for something. Let's bounce around. Boinga boinga. Not looking at shit. Get a refund because you thought it was real. I'm afraid for this poor person stuck in a world of blue messages. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. The and art is not as art as the what game. I think the puzzle means. When Each you when you refund, you get an achievement on Steam. That would be the brilliant. That he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door right. on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. In each of his games, can you hear that? Exploring a theme that you know he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle right. that he knows has a reliable solution. He understands exactly how it works. We're not so looking at that bullshit. Not twist. We are Bubsy 3D. That's what I said earlier. And because it seems like that. Dark area between the doors, oh my god, the opinions have spaces. violated my Before safe space. You, on, you get to pause. Just for a moment. A few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step it's like he wants to be my therapist. Together, to grasp at that elusive bigger You know it's art, because they're like, you can hear people whispering and shaking cans of rice. And that's when you know it's really art. They're not moving. My emotion is ruined. Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak. 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 May to June 2009. Porn stars die too. I'm it's interpreting this as a threat to Mercedes Carrera. Call the police. I missed what he said. Into the closet. Get the noose. Climb up. A thousand ghosts on typewriters. Are they reproducing the works of Shakespeare? Says Exceladar. An infinite... <laughs> An infinite number of ghosts with an infinite number of typewriters over an infinite period of time. We'll just write boo with loads and loads of zeros. That's all that happens. Zeros. What the fuck am I talking about? Loads of O's. Maybe they do it with zeros. Maybe See, they're like, like this is it. The whole game. Scene and there's kid nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. Modern I don't furniture. Know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. It's like Here's Legos. It's Lego, but for people with pink hair. 
what furniture ought to go in the center of the room? All right, let's see. In the center, should we have a TV, a refrigerator, or put a giant hole in the ground? Honestly, I want to climb into a giant hole in the ground. Are you prepared to go? Coda is a cuck, says Viscrest. Yeah, he's letting me play his game. Yep, I thought so. Three. Put a giant hole in the ground. Son of a bitch. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? I feel like we're not going to have a choice for some reason. Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I'd really like a washing machine. Ten stoves lined up along the wall. Are you prepared? That is not a hole indeed. But it could be. Okay, it looks like people want a horse. Friendship is magic. But of course it's not going to be that. It's going to be the same thing every time. I think we should light up this room. No, I think we... I think we should light up this room. Do you want a skylight? Full ceiling window. Let's open this baby up. 10x12 recessed electric 6-inch soft LED ceiling lights with fluorescent trim. Or do we want live Tesla coils? <laughs> Spooky Goat says, Bitch, what kind of horses has this guy been looking at? Of course the Tesla coils win. Close enough, I think. And a table. You need a table. That looks like a table to me, to be honest. Who are you? Where exactly are you doing this from? I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. What well, tables were invented in 1935? Up to you, chat. <laughs> yes, we do indeed. Looks like people are going for three. Is that true? I have my doubts. Oh, it's melting now. Where's my fucking horse, mate? Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Excuse me. I'll interpret meaning if I want to, friend. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. What if, instead of being trapped inside the prison, the world is trapped outside of it? Hello, please. Fuck you. Okay, never mind. The, the way the text floats is making me really want to play RuneScape again. Go collect some RuneScape girlfriends. Take care that you remember each step. I imagine it doesn't matter whether there are the dots. Table. that table picture floor lamp is that a floor lamp is that what it's called yada 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 brilliant finally touch the shelves does Coda have Power OCD is increasing Prismo says Prismos thank you very much and Prismo says contributing a small amount to the harmful opinions Beginner's Guide Purchase Regret Foundation. Having a good laugh watching this, though. Cheers for the play-through. Yes, it's not exactly a playthrough, is it? It's merely a set of instructions. What's with all the text being so small? Tepifray. He hates people who are visually impaired. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Very well. Interior Decorator Simulator 2015. Yes, overflow. I didn't even have to press the return key. It's a little literal walkthrough, it isn't it? And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And okay. then a version where the inside of the but prison can we is die? the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. 
personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. Well, where are you getting and that from, what? mate? Like, at what point do you just go... Do you know, or is that just like your opinion, man? This prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling Do you remember that Jamaraquai video? That particular mechanism of defense we dancing on the against ceiling. yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. You're not supposed to hit on people anymore. And that's, that's very He's done. He uh, non-progressive and sexist. This Even if it's a table or a video game idea. He created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Whoa. Okay. Is anyone getting anything from this so far, or just... You watched a very sensitive streamer play this. They were literally crying during this part. Maybe, like, I just have pieces missing. Maybe... Because maybe... I'm just flat out not getting anything from it whatsoever. Alright, let's walk forward to the lamppost. I can't believe he put an objective in this. That is... unacceptable. Ooh, you've got a phone booth. Where we turn into... Sensitivity Man. Ooh. Sir, you are being hunted. Hello. Who is this? Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Yep, I was in the furniture maze. Yep, I was in the escape tutorial. Or and yep, so this is what I was in the reverse prison. To be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. Here's some good advice. Just but stop. The irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to. What do you reckon, chat? Wow, this might be real, Maraxian. I know. It's too real. I need a refund. People want three. Very well. That's where I am right now. Oh, I'm so glad to know that I get out eventually. What's it like to escape? Actually, I'm already forgetting what being in the prison was like. Or, it's strange, but in a way I kind of miss being in the prison. Or three. It feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. What do you reckon? What is this? What is my life? Says Absolution Dreams. This is very deep and meaningful. Two. Some people are saying there is no zero. It's fantastic. I think people want two. I miss being in the prison. It was like being in the womb. Why? Was there anything about it that you felt good about? Being here sucks. We can say true. Maybe I only like things once I don't have them anymore. Two. It was comfortable. I knew its limits. I knew my place. Or three. But don't you feel excited about getting out? The promise of freedom. Murica. <laughs> the empty parentheses. There's no empty parenthesis here, comrades. Important question triggered by this game. Is there a zero? It looks like quite a mixture. But I think overall three is winning. The promise of freedom. Excited. Is the only thing that matters to me. It's the only thing that keeps me going. Excited doesn't really do it justice. This man needs his lamppost. That's all he cares about. He doesn't stop and smell the flowers. He just wants out of the prison. Exactly. Press zero. Zero doesn't do shit. I'm surprised you're not asking me to press P. So for some reason there's like a black soul singer lady going, Hey, hey, hey in the background every now and then. Do you think that means anything? You have something you care about. You won't always have something that you care about. Or just be with that enthusiasm for a bit. Let it ooze into your flesh. Okay. It looks like people are saying two. Or three. 
Oh wait, three is in the lead now, I believe. I think we're gonna roll with three. Ooze into your flesh. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Or well, yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. Press R for refunds, I think. Oh, I, I'm t it's too late. Twist. The narrator is Koda, says Minasitaki. Well, someone who's played this says it isn't. It looks like one is, w I mean, two is winning even. Yeah. Hey. We're gonna lie. What did they tell you? What did you have to do to get out? All they told me was to be sincere. They asked me how I felt about being in prison, or they just talked to me for a while. What do you think? It seems like... Well, we did get all that text. Does that text count as getting a call? Or no? It looks like this one is getting a real mixture. One seems to be in the lead. One or three. I think overall it's three. They just talked to me for a while. What? That freed you. Freed me from my depression. How does that work? Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Just talk to me. Or it will make sense. <laughs> Lying is fine when you want to be sincere. Alright, chat. What do you think? Two, two, three, two, two, two. Two seems to be winning. This isn't about feels. Don't believe the narrator. Okay, I can talk. Let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? I will be here for as long as you need. Very well. It I just works, says guy named Aaron. Conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? No, don't need that. In fact, if people tell me things are okay, I don't trust them. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? A telephone, presumably. Make a game with, with guns and then sell it about shooting aliens and then all the gamer nerds buy it and then you can buy an iPhone. Here we are. This reminds me of something. For some reason I have a strange urge to play GoldenEye. There's no level. With the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Right. It's really quite loud. The gusting wind. God, what a blockhead. It's Mr. Clean. Well, my goodness, I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. I thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself. And right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make You'll a lousy the home. Quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new rug. chat system, which he started using from this what? point. What? something to do with the rug. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. Green hat. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. No, it didn't. Which one, chat? There are options. Is this sunset? Right. A couple of people have said two, so I'm going with two. And lousy homes make home loners. Ha! Something tells me you're gonna have gonna be fun to do this job with. Well, this place isn't going to clean itself, far as I know. I'll finish up here. In the meantime, could you please clear the table? <laughs> two fucking months, says Hannah. Obviously, it's not real, though. Oh, wait. Hang on. Clear the table. Brilliant. Are we done? Alright, he says. 
run into the bedroom and make the bed. I presume this will also be the lovely interaction of a click. Done. While you're in there, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? All the little details matter. They don't though, do they? You can ask them, do they enjoy being a house cleaner? How do they end up doing this job? Or, it's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. Pornos have more plot than this. Oh, but it does have a plot. We just don't understand it, clearly. Clean the microwave and use the noose, says Airflow. If only we could. Three. Let's diss him. <laughs> I've been warned. He's gonna fuck you on that rug. You let go of the judgement pretty fast. It may not be your apartment, but something in your life needs straightening up. You think you've got nothing that needs cleaning? Be careful, because that means it's everything. At any rate, my place is just to see a bit of peace brought here. Speaking of which, the pillars on this couch are a wreck. Would you come out and straighten them up? All pornos have plots, but there's always a few holes. Nice, Prismos. This is like a nightmare, it really is. Maybe mop that up as long as we're over here. Clean this spill. That's fucking blood, mate. What have you been doing? This is where it becomes a survival horror. Well done. That wasn't really a suitable sound effect, was it? I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? And he says, make it especially cheesy. Yeah, I'll try to get by. Or, do you absolutely have to? What do you reckon, chat? Do we want the cheese? Do we want extra mature cheddar out of this game? Because so far, all I think we've got is tackiness. Three seems to be winning. Do you absolutely have to? Yes. I'm programmed this way. It reminds me of that comic. I have free will, yet still I choose to oscillate. Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? The tub needed a cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best you can? I feel like we're going to get executed. Where the fuck is the tub? There it is. For some reason I didn't see it before. Do you remember that bit in um, Resident Evil? Or maybe it was just in the Resident Evil remake where you pull the plug and then there's a zombie in there. Right, oh there's still books in the bedroom. For fuck's sake, why make this so long? Oh, there we are. Is that what it means? Done it. I feel like executing myself as Prismos. As do I. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. No, it doesn't. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or it feels like boring you agony. Just need to let it sit and digest inside of you. It feels like when you're and mining in RuneScape, but we're not even getting internet meaningful. points. I make me do it again. Piece of shit. Right, I'm just going to make some choices now, chat, I'm sorry. Darling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you have absolutely got to own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So why don't we be with the task at hand and leave the future chores to future you? I know that Present you wants like to smooth this. out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Work, Trust actually, me on this, this one. Was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, right. grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. I don't think this is art. I think this is someone telling us that they have a neurological disorder. I was going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it and it takes care of you. Heh. <laughs> don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. Because it was a fucking weird thing to say. Yeah, you're right, that's pretty cheesy. Disgustingly so. Like, peeling back the skin kind of cheesy. Anyway, so, housekeeping. 
let's keep doing this. This fucking music, yes, Prismos, it's giving me a headache. It is so loud in my ear right now. It's slowing down, it's stopping finally. Clean up the books again. Very well. And what was the next thing? Do you remember, chat? I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found something. I'm genuinely demoralized. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I would... I'm tempted to just stop. But, of course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion... It asked me if I enjoy that, by the way, in case you couldn't see. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. <laughs> Feelings. Again, you can't really? stay in the dark space for too Become long. one with you the games, it's Kekulus Rift. to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Right. Keep going. Don't give up, is an assumption. You feel like you have some kind of neurological disorder. It feel it fills you with determination. Praise the sun into the vault. How far are we in? It's been like an hour, but I've been slow, so who knows? And there's a lamp. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later an you ending have to objective. pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Stay in the dark, he said you'll die. <laughs> this one Items you love bit. at members only prices. Why did I come here today? Was it to improve my life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You just wanted some sweet, sweet college girl tale. We came here to become perfect. Right. I want your friends, the people in your life to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is so well developed as a person that they can make you feel disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is not how do we do it, but how do we do it effortlessly? This is so easy. It is so About easy. It is so easy. Being perfect is effortless. And this is where he clearly stole Lord of the Rings. And there's the lamppost. And you play as the, the ending teacher. he hates so much. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted, bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. This is what all the college students are working towards. Once they have a big enough safe space, it just sucks all the bigots in. And they're done for. Oh shit. Oh wait. I was just testing if that would work, I didn't mean to make the choice. Right. I'm gonna let you choose again, chat. Well, let me tell you right now, if it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer, or I still love you, it's just that you make me feel cold on the inside, or being alone must be awful. They're all screaming. It's all the, uh, all those little specks sucked, being sucked into the eye. Those are the cis white males. Three. Very well. Being alone must be awful. Looks like we're just saying it. We've got more grey answers. Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. Drinking is not hurting my life, or if you are torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. No. What do you reckon? 7.8 is too much indie. It's Nintendo. I wouldn't give it that highest score if I had to score it. People want to. Drinking is not hurting my life. Drinking only hurts my life if there are too many drunk streams in a row. Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. Or, seek out only one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? Or... Ew, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. Tell me, chat. Jewel of Denial, says Earthblow. 
We've got a three, we've got a one, we've got a three, three, three. It looks like three is in the lead. <laughs> Just kidding. And you want to do some ecstasy after this, or there is no truth. There is no path. There is only interpretation. Boing, boing. I think there's a clash between this music and the screaming. Cyst white male, I see. Right, we've got a bunch of twos. I think two wins. There we are. Oh my god, this... How many of these are going to be? I'm just going to go through. I'm going to choose now, chat. You've had your fun. That is the uh, closed parenthesis final form. Why? I felt pretty hard for this one. Why is this? I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. How? Uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. Do we, we didn't have to choose anything, I see. Did, okay, chat, for real, let's stop for a second. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was four months between this and the last one. Did you get anything from that? So the message is, the feeling is meant to be looking at people and thinking they're perfect. So I remember I found that a little Being jealous of people, sure, but maybe if you're a small child and have no conception of other people just being people, I don't know. This would be funny without the narration. I think it's funny anyway. And I, I, to tell you the truth. Once you've seen this, you don't need to get it. Like, you will not have a different experience from having played it yourself, or gone through it yourself. It doesn't change or add anything. Are you ready to go? Win a performance hall. I remember in the preview there were a bunch of bumpers. That was quite fucking loud. Alright, the performance is beginning. Places, please. In this scene, you will be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. Put a blindfold on and pray one last time. Good, stay right there. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to ph photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something to succeed. Go on. Say something to her. SPJ. Yes, Lemon Killer. Hello. Sorry, I had to leave, or where is the bathroom? Come on, guys. Don't drop your spaghetti. Does she even have tits, says Angoth? I don't know. I think we'd have to get closer to see. Three. Where is the bathroom? What are you doing? Two question marks. Hang on, that Japanese game we played the other day, that had double question marks all the time. You're deflecting. You're not saying what's actually on your mind. Stop dancing around it and have a conversation with this person. Do it again. So, I'm super, super scared right now. I like you. Or well, here are all of my hopes and dreams. With a colon to say there's going to be a list. Look closer, Sarge Hippie. Okay. Wise. Happy. Focused. Successful. Good grief, that's how we see her. Pat me on the head. Mommy, please. Do you love me? Use that hand to pat me. Alright, looks like two is winning. I like you. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There were a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These codes that bounce you when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Alright, I'll just do it myself from now on. If you're sick. 
is like I'm really in a horror film. If we do it fast enough, we'll get the plucking noises, you know, so it's really creepy. Keep pressing P. This is another one of those shitty western games where it doesn't let you jiggle people. This is what we're doing. Ah, right. You must have worked really hard to get where you are. You're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Can we jump on her? Try stepping back from the stage. Do the meaning to the void. This is like one of those Mario Party levels where you run away from a fish. You know where you spam A. Or you have to dodge or whatever. It's another prison. This guy loves prisons. He's well into it. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success. Alcohol. The answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several years right. ago, where it just becomes harder. And then it also probably to leads to reading visual novels on the internet. Because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. Right, okay. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very helpful when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting well, how do you know, from mate? the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Now have it one way or the other. If either you're considering the dude, to connect or you're looking at his game disconnected. Bring him closer. Don't wish them together. But what can you do? It's not fair. After this, Coda went off and took another five months to oh, make a new shit. game. Another five months to make a tiny room, I'm sure. It leads to marrying your hug pillow. Says Yerpa. So the previous games were healthy. Feel his D3. Maybe for him, not for me. Not for us, not for anyone viewing. Oh wait, Mobius Strip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Ready, chat? As if I'm going to close my eyes, honestly. C can we do anything? Help, I'm blind. Right. SS Whisper. Wait, this is like the same old other shit. Please, someone talk to me. This is the one at the beginning where we had a gun. But from a different perspective, it seems to be. There's the truth. Oh. Oh well. So you've got to speak with someone who's honest. It's a game, I guess, but not really. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Yeah, I figured you're lying. there is a fuck. solution, by the way. Right. Yes, that's it. That's the truth. I just spammed a button to make it go through. I don't know what I pressed, except now that it's gone. I don't feel like it I said, anymore. I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit Keep in his going. work about exactly Keep talking. So, where's that coming from? I haven't been but honest. Even That's weirder, true, we've, we've lied quite a lot. Being an thanks to the chat being in charge. Like having trouble iterating on ideas, but you guys are all about lies, to be honest. Anymore. I'm sorry, chat, but it's and true. In person, he was being a lot more distant than I'm usual. alone. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect Three, says that Pure you say even though I'm blazing ahead. Disconnected all the time. It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed Fail my help Saturday. in some way. I wish it was true that he couldn't keep making them. From here I wish he'd just stop. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. I feel like it's been 2010 for several years. Hello? We're in a beautiful garden. With some new age music. Where did this island come from? I feel like we've been playing this for hours. Yeah, pretty much. So it feels. Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. <laughs> I'm completely out of ideas. Oh no. Quick. Rely on cultural appropriation. Get some Japanese assed little trees. There was a machine that kept me going, and it stopped. 
Art Hibby says, I remember a game where you had to swim underwater and were expected to hold your breath and push the lose button if you breathe. I guess if you're trying to train yourself. How to hold your breath, that could be good. Wait, you're looking for a machine. I think I know where it is. It isn't far. You have to take me to it. <laughs> Better hurry or I won't be able to refund it. If the last well, wait, son. Coda talking I bought this back in October, so it's already too late. This one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes, Philbox Saturday says, Maybe he can't think of any ideas, because a part of him wants to make real games. And not bullshit. Even. And yet, okay. still, he keeps if you can help me solve the puzzle, we'll find the machine. Throwing himself Deal. Into the grinder, even when he clearly doesn't Deal. Have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it's it a fair for? deal. Yeah, I told you. Cultural appropriation. He's not respecting it, he's just taking one of those gate things and put them in his game. Unbelievable, what a shit lord. Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what We're I back into him, fog like earlier. This was a but it's fog of instead of darkness. Was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, <laughs> not really showing these games to anyone. Yeah, the Lemia. Uh, you can't put yourself in the shoes the of someone internet. who doesn't sound extremely and bored so playing this. He didn't have anyone outside right. of himself to connect with. I've solved this puzzle he had before. No outlet to ground himself. We're not allowed to do it. We have to tell someone else how to do it. Fucking weeb. Exactly. First, you have to open the door. Why does it make me do this? Okay, now what? Now, you have to close the first door. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And then you press the switch on the inside. It's like a different world. You can't Notice how the walls are more shallow. We can't hang out in the darkness way. anymore. You can't be it's the totally one changed. writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no wow. Then there's no, no circulation. circulation. If all of your there is no engagement with culture. Into your no work, one actually the plays it. Fails, you have no backup, and you're just going to crash. You live in a hole. This entire thing is his reasoning for opening a Patreon. Yada yada yada. Hello, deal. Oh my god, it's all the things we've said. You have to say that it's simple, okay. Making games is simple. It is though, honestly. Depending on what kind of thing you want. But it wasn't true. There was a weeb door. There was indeed me on. Right, we have to say... It's easy. Okay, it is easy. It never stops being easy. Smash down the walls. Yes, that's wonderful. Keep going. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. Okay, every time I make something, I feel better about myself. I hated seeing Lovely. It so We're winning, chat. We're going to get through without dying even once. Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. How much is he really so suffering? Look, I'm. About. Right, okay, so I'm looking so at this, and I'm not getting any impression of suffering. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this. Perhaps a tiny little touch thing. of doubt or writer's block, but not like suffering. And there's this screeching noise. They're trying too hard. Uh, please, where is the machine? Yada yada. Uh, Farfi says, so is this game a commentary on games or something else? It could be, like you could interpret it as just about anything. Pain breezes effortlessly off me when you have enough pills. Yada yada. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rot. Oh, it's just, just so tacky and cheesy. I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. But it didn't stop. Right. It's like that what, After finishing this one, Tim Buckley Coda comic takes seven months where he goes to the hospital. Comes up with a new game. Seven months this time. We're in 2011. We must be near the end. <laughs> yep, I want this game to stop too. Yep, hit bar. There's a guard. Ma'am, glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. 
You can be begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be brutal, obviously. Very good. Just be warned that someone called the press, so you might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing that you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. Make sure we get my good side. Alright. Do you reckon we can break through? Make it glitch out. That would be wonderful. Create our own meaning. Yada yada yada. Oh well. For fuck's sake, why did I stream this when I could be streaming something funny or fun? And of course, it's the machine. You stopped. It's a whale-like machine. You stopped feeding us. 10 out of 10 super non-fiction guards. So are you, are you guys uh, interpreting this as a true story? Can you imagine the pain you've put them through? Keep going, says Unassumption. Unassumption, you liked this, didn't you? So here's what needs to happen. You need to go out and apologize to them. This, uh, when an oppressed individual tells you, You've offended them. Am I doing anything? No. Oh no, think carefully. I know how to hurt you. It takes less than two hours to finish, right? Yes, Arch. Uh, Archie Hippie. Alright then. I will speak to them for you. No, no, no. The Enclave President has really let himself go. Indeed. Metal whoopee cushion, microaggression, I like that. So you hear the press. My followers. My friends. Oh my god, is that deep commentary? On their connection to you. Chat. This is you. Why are you looking at me? Alright, my followers. I have a troubling revelation. The machine refuses to admit that it deliberately hurt us. This seems... This makes me think of the critics who are like, I interpreted this very wildly, as if it was an insult to this condition I have, or who I am. Apologize, apologize, apologize. Wait, is this an anti-SJW game? We are stronger. No, we will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. You ready? Let it let us show it that we are not failures. We will make our own games. Follow me. But to be honest, we should be doing both. But we'll destroy the machine, because you always go for the person first, and that's the way it works. It's time. Oh, we've returned to the stage. Gamers are not your audience indeed, Dead Wars 2012. Alright, let me at the press. I don't think we'll be allowed to reload. Perhaps we can get backstage. Catch someone as they're changing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I find it funny. Coda. <laughs> Goda. I'll make sure you are known forever. Woo! So now the work is Isn't that what you're scared of? Exposed to the view of others every day, forever, seen in naked I'm clarity. Thinking I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him. And Why? All he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his game, Here we go. it might get him out of isolation. Deconstructing the safe space. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for him? Force him if to get feedback. The it would Poison him. Have more Make him need approval. Make him require validation. 
and then the machine dies. Would it bring meaning back into his work? It can no longer create under pressure. Here we go. Whoops. Oh well. So I started showing Coda's work to people. The least satisfying destructible one, environment ever. And the islands which Absolutely. You played, the theater, the notes, the house it's probably, game, honestly. Prison escape games. Look. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they Coda really like Coda. Game. It's like Coda, but it's also you know, like the end of the piece of music. It's just some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. <sighs> there was nothing for him to be afraid of. I just don't. Guys, I just don't, simply. Why is it going to tell us that the cake is a lie now? Put down your weapon. It's the three dots, guys. The three. Nope. Not going to happen. Sorry, mate. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? <laughs> Fucking no. I have this no idea what you're talking about, mate. I always mate. feel like I need to be told that my work is good. That I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something. I really Why? felt like I'd done something good. Like like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and and maybe didn't like themselves. And I right, could chat, fix help it. me. Help if me I could chat. give him this gift, maybe I'd I shoot the lamp if I could. Oh my god. Coda has a lamppost. Coda has become the end point. Absolute best feeling. It made me yeah, feel yeah. So he is happy. the three dots, whatever. So beautifully, beautifully oh, there's a violin. Uh, you know. What's it called when there's a... You know the term, I'm sure. Oh shit, so it's Coda. Anyway, Coda finishes Did this you hear game, that arm? And then, really, he just kind of takes off for a while. If you shoot the word refund in Morse code, you get to be sad that you still don't have your money back. Something else five. I think you're right. I am the machine. so out of nowhere, one day I get an email. And it's got a private link to a new game of Codas. Remember at the beginning we were given... And to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. We were given Davy Reedon's email address at the beginning. Maybe you should write him a message. Crescendo. No, crescendo is where it gets is loud. Uh, it's it's something like a hit, you know, where it's just for a second. Anyway, never mind. And this is where I have no labyrinth. Zero out of ten. About Coda's work, because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. Are oh, we meant to hate this guy because he's like an annoying culture critic? No, it's not. My opinion will turn around at the end. Right, says on assumption. We'll see. This room then. Actually has a Sting. Mason. Yes, that's the one. Exactly. Thank you. Zippity zippity bump. Zip zap. All the walls of the maze are invisible. And then one every morning. time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. I got the message. Beyond not being meant is that definitely play, the message? Seems to despise that the player for trying to play it at all. Because but the manager has seemed like a douchebag so very much, just um, doing exactly the bridge over the maze. exactly the shit I try to attack in my videos anyway. We made a bridge. Sudden, the sudden urge to play Portal. Here we are. We're finally free. And to be fair, there's a balance like this though. is the first game that's needed some right? modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the oh my God. and you just cleaned a house forever. Has the narrator been had to cut it off so that you could exit the house? Oh the my god. The narrator but has been fucking with Coda's game games. How dare you, sir? How dare you? What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? It's like when people take your music and change it. How dare you, sir? It's like when I took Sunset and turned it into an elevator simulator, where you just go up and down for an hour. But honestly, I was right to do that, to be to be honest. No Coda. You are the demons. 
you in the elevator. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Like the invisible very maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I it's like World of Warcraft. Him, then maybe Good God. I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Thank you. Hacks. Five, one, six, one, seven. Very well. Fucking slips. Right, this better not be fucking with me. It must have just been me. Yet nothing Coda has made thus far has encouraged thought or engagement. Purify unit. You are absolutely fucking correct. I think that's the problem. It's just like a dick about. It's all sorts of stuff. It's all sorts of stuff that you could just... You know... Describe. It doesn't need... It doesn't even need to be made. It doesn't benefit from existing. Beyond an idea. But maybe that's the point. Down the hole. Terrible at games is Lars. The switch to open this door my, uh, is my skills at pressing E door, to turn a number. Meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. There's no lambos for us. The idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like yeah, dodge. When I can't fix the problem, but I can open this door for you. So let me do that. Sweet hacks, bro. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I, mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. It's not like everything like needs to be good either. And I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011, I'm playing this for the very first time, right. and as I'm playing, I'm thinking Bunny to hop. myself, <laughs> I don't know this person. Ranzilla says, I have no, no idea you are a failure for is. narrating this game. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. Doing, doing. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... Well, yeah. Perhaps the idea that there's no game whatsoever. A game doesn't even necessarily have to have I've a been goal, trying to. right? That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was, and, and what in he one for. sense, especially if you're talking about like so evolutionarily times, stable so strategies and the way those get whittled down through interaction. I asked him, please, to tell never mind me what about the three that. dots mean. And he wouldn't. We just can get higher. In the stairs tell us that actually, we need to get higher and higher. And then we'll understand. <laughs> Reported to the police. This is literally handling stolen goods, Catbus Chris. Okay, so guys. This is the bit that's meant to make us... Just so you know, this is meant to make us think the game is stolen. It told us that, um... Koda sent him this, and now he's showing it to us. I just felt so he stole it. that if I could have connected with him... That if I could have somehow made his work right. my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. Right. It was that I needed to see. It sounds like cheap creepy bastards, egg. I, needed I tend to agree, honestly. Other than me. But he I needed and left. to be Coda. And it felt I don't know. somehow like I had failed. <laughs> the only thing he told me about three dots was new friends can't try dot. Get your refund. It's too late, friend. Jump. It doesn't let you jump off. Or maybe it does here. Nope. Holy fuck. It doesn't l even let me jump off of here. What a pain in the ass. God damn it. Where did I screw up? I can't even. I'm not even allowed to kill myself in video games anymore. Right. Is the message of this game to stop trying to psychoanalyze creators based on their creations? I guess you could interpret it like that, Ranos. 
Or you could just make YouTube videos and say, Game critics, what the fuck are you doing? You're detaching it from authorial intent and then trying to shove it back I'm in their face, you, you dickhead. I'm making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. David, you bastard. For you. Look what you've done, you thief. Coda is harmful opinions. Well, we already knew he was a machine, didn't we? I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important <laughs> and valuable. Peculiar pangolin. What is the supposed message? Because there are plenty of ways to interpret it. It's already. Which one? What's more engaging? This or cow clicker? Cookie clicker, even. You've so infected and my personal space that it's them, possible I did begin to plant solutions in my like work somewhere I was hidden between games. You really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Oh my god, guys. This is real. He's been stealing video games and showing them to people. We are. We're complicit, chat. I think we need to get a refund. This guy stole Coda's video games and showed them to us in real life. Like, just really, this happened. This is absolute truth. I feel really bad, honestly. Are we thieves, chat? Did we do this? Should we have told them to stop? <laughs> stop it with the lampposts. It's too much. Stop turning my little experiences into things that people go through and solve. Those fucking dirty gamers and their need to complete things. How dare you. I wanted an endless loop of OCD. Not some kind of Super Mario housemaker. And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. Do, do, do. And as soon as that happened, Can we there was no get feeling through and see the little line. Nothing. Less I forgot a page of the reading. Would you want me to read it? What I don't know. I'll go back here. Would you simply let them be what they are? <laughs> Lamppost is a meme now. You desperately need something, and I cannot give it to you. I literally do not have it. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. Code is breaking up with you, bro. Exactly. The fact that you think I'm frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. Oh my god. Fucking critics. Always being depressed and then thinking other people are depressed. Because they read things into it based on how they feel. Right. If this is about critics... Actually, I agree. And I've made like a, a bazillion videos about that. Which is fine. You're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks. And that you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Can't quota the coda. You tell him what to make. And he can't. And when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. It didn't have to be... Hey, wait, an assumption. It didn't have to be this long or boring to tell the message, though. Do you think that's... Is that what you think it was saying, or what? We're in the darkness room. Oh yeah, of course, it's this thing again. That's the end of a thought. Uh, but there's no, there's That's no switch. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is oh because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that is the... I'm sorry. I know I screwed This up. is what people think is real. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, 
This is what people think is fucking real. They think this isn't. They think this isn't like a story. Always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. They think he's doing this. Is something wrong? Fuck's sake! Fucking Christ! And I'm doing it again right now. Like I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please, help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. Oh shit, it's closing in on Whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. I want to know how to, how, to, know like how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. <laughs> I'm fading. And all I want is to know that I'm I going to be okay. <laughs> a games journalist wrote like five paragraphs on why you might be really upset by that and why you might think you've done something morally incorrect and why you might want a refund, because you think it's stolen. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh wait, we've got the slow... Uh, slow music. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. God. It's like a disease. It's like a disease. So he does what people want instead of what he thinks is right. His everless creativity. I don't know. Never mind. Dudun. We traded our soul for the red leather seats of a train Solution. headed nowhere. Solution. Solution. Why are you fucking games always got to have solutions? Why can't we just have a video game where you stand in a dark room? And why can't I make a living doing that? I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games... Maybe I, I heard that prison... He was so desperate. What is that prison game? Is it called Prisons, Prison Simulator? So that is supposed to actually be good. <laughs> Pete the Cuban, I'm sorry this gave you cancer. Sick. Give it a second. <laughs> I need your stream so I can feel good about myself, said someone. Good, good, good. Sorry about that. I should have warned you, like in the video. Because like, sometimes people leave when the stream crashes and then I'm back in like 10 seconds, so... It's not that big a deal, really. What did you miss? Uh, you missed a line of dialogue, that's it, guys. It's fine. <laughs> I need your voice so I can know I'm a good person. Mirth and Maniac. You're an immoral animal. <laughs> Chat, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Clean up this sand, young man. I refuse to apologize for hurting you. You're all gonna swarm me and make me make dialogue choices. You, yeah, you just missed him whinging. That's it. You didn't miss anything meaningful. Trust me. Ooh. In the mirror, there is nothing but white privilege. That's all I am nowadays. Into the. No, no, we got st stuck in the. Ooh. For a second, the screen gave up my mouse. It let my mouse go. No, uh, Hollow the Rather Clever. The journalists don't think it's stolen, but they were warning you that. Be careful. You might think it's actually stolen. <laughs> you need me to interpret the art for you. I think the message of this is, you really need critics to interpret stuff for you, and when they interpret it, it tells you about the artist and what they mean. It would be fucking Kex. Davy, do it for the Kex. You'll always go everywhere. 
Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. <laughs> oh, why? Yeah, we're going to get to the end and there's going to be a, a big 42. Although I'd rather a 69, to be honest, chat. Is this... Am I supposed to be feeling something? Good grief. There was a different voice. Did you hear it? God damn, the character has such a nasally voice. Right, Lewin. Exactly. You have to work like fuck to get rid of that if you've got I think it. I need to go. And... I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but... Starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, leave. Progressive game journalist, leave. Let me play the game for myself. So I'm Don't tell me that titties are dangerous, please. Okay. Okay. I feel like I can feel that someone's trying to make me feel something, so I don't. I like... Okay. Okay. Let's just stop here for a second. I like the way this bit looks. For the first time, this, this tiny little bit, I think that looks quite nice. So this game can get 1 out of 10. Okay. I don't like scores, but if I had to score it, 1 out of 10 had a nice sandy section. Though I'm not too sure about that shadow. Not really. Walk around them, fuck the system. Here we go. Serious Sam first encounter. It's very much like that, isn't it? Is it actually from that? Some of the interiors were nice. I didn't like them, honestly. It reminds me of my home in the United Arab Emirates. Didn't you know? I'm actually a Saudi prince. Right. We better not fucking fly into the air. Because that would piss me off. Wait, is it not done yet? No, it's not done yet. We've been we've been going somewhere slowly. Down the hatch. You ready? You prepared? Stole content from Serious Sam. That must be why. Bad. Here we go. Funk. I was kind of hoping for a damage sound, you know. That nice crunchy fall damage noise. And then the screen goes red. Uh, Tectonic. I think we're near the end. You want a summary of what's happened so far, Tectonic? Alright. Just utter pretentious bullshit. Non-stop. Right spraying into your eyes. Agonizingly. I suddenly have an urge to play Call of Duty. Is this the Minecraft update? Trollophobia. No, I don't have Windows 10. I think you can only get it there. Nothing. There's a skylight. You know, like, this is this is the best bit of the game. Just without that guy talking. Leave me alone. Are we supposed to... So, are we supposed to be like... And now, wow. I understand what it means to just experience with no end goal or solution. I feel... Human. Why do I own this? I had to buy it. I just... How could I not buy it? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's a lamppost. There's the thing from the beginning. Is it going to kill us like it did at first? <laughs> You're traveling up the urethra, says chat. Time for the greatest ending of all time. Humphrey is going to love it. Okay. I trust you. You ready to go? Ready. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> fucking no. Didn't I just fucking say it better not be flying? Oh great, and there's a labyrinth like at the beginning.
<laughs> oh my fuck's sake. And the <laughs> And there's fucking new age shit. Fucking new age music as well. Of course there is. And what is a yoga instructor about to come on? <laughs> Windows 98, yes, chat. <laughs> for some Deepak Chopra. Yeah, Marax, yeah. I think Deepak... Okay, for real though. Deepak Chopra had a video game. <laughs> Is this posed law, says Jamaki. <laughs> Three tides says Methomaniac. Hey, so it turns out emos are still a thing. Who knew? Oh, God. So, Jet, what did you feel? What did this game make you feel? What message, besides the ones we talked about, did this give you? Do any of you want to buy this? Is this fucking depression quest? Says a Guan Beaver. I think... Alright, straight up. Depression quest was better than this. For real. Absolutely. <laughs> Something else says, I feel fuck you in my bones. Good grief. So, um... <clears throat> Matty Bryce. Okay, nope, fuck it. Yeah, Spooky and Alien. I've read a bunch of Matty Bryce's stuff. I played one of Matty Bryce's games. <sighs> well, well, well. Time for New Game Plus. Jesus, fuck's sake. Is there anything you guys want to see again? Did you have any favourite bit? Do you have any highlight of this wonderful interactive experience? <clears throat> my, my. <laughs> yeah, creamy frog. There is chapter select. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking chat just go, no. No, no, no. Kill Coda again. <laughs> again, you play my desktop. Um, right, I'm going to go on to Twitter or some shit. What do you guys want to do now? What do you reckon? No, oh, actually, I'm going to tell you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to close my... Like, I'm going to get rid of the stream notice. Because we're not going to be streaming this anymore. But I might do some... I might dick around with something else if you wish. <coughs> Or if chat doesn't want me to, I won't. It's up to you. It's all in your hands. Loonscrape. Loonscrape? Runescape. It was just a bit like we were playing Runescape. Honestly, it felt a bit like that. About as engaging. <laughs> 